Hello guys! Since we know all skills damage, we know their hidden stats and abilities, I decided to grade skills and make a skill tier list. So in this video guys, I will explain why I graded them so. Why for example Ice is S grade while Plant is A grade. By the way guys, you can make a screenshot of this tier list or you can join my Discord server and download it in a good quality. Besides skill tier list, you'll find a list of skills hidden stats. Let's start with S grade and elemental skills. All elemental skills are useful, but only three of them I put as S grade. Lightning is very powerful, because when you hit one enemy, Lightning spreads on all enemies. So one lightning turret can hit all enemies at once, plus at two crowns it does a burst damage to enemies. Yeah, you need to upgrade it to three crowns to do a chain damage and it's not doing a very high damage. But when you upgrade it, you will do damage to all enemies. A very useful skill, especially when you're fighting against bosses. The next powerful skill I put as S grade Ice. Ice is very useful when you have many enemies. You have them most of the time. It slows enemies, which gives you more time to escape from them. Besides that, Ice Pillars do the highest damage. At 3 crowns, Ice Pillar does 20x damage of your attack. Only downside it has, it does damage to one enemy. Anyway, Ice in combination with Lightning is probably the best combination. Some of you may not agree with me about Holy, but let me explain why I put it as S grade. Holy is not doing the highest damage as Ice, but at 3 crowns it does 10x damage of your attack. And while Ice Pillar does damage to only one enemy, Holy skill refracts 4 times. So we can hit or many enemies or one enemy two times. Plus, it penetrates walls and enemies. This skill is better than lightning when you're fighting with the final boss, because you do higher damage to him. I think you understand why I put more is better skill as S grade, and U tail gives plus two percent attack. Rage is another skill that will increase your attack. It can increase your attack on up to 50%. When you have a good amount of health, it's not a very useful skill. But when you're losing your health, you'll be doing higher damage. Very useful skill when you're fighting with tough bosses. And of course, when your health is low. And the last skill I put as S grade, crit rate up. With higher crit rate up, you'll have higher chance to do 2x damage. For example, Ice Pillar, instead of 20x damage, will do 40x damage. Ok guys, now about A grade skills. There are not many, only 3, and 2 of them are elemental skills. I rate Fire as A grade, because it's not doing very powerful damage as Ice or Holy. Yeah, it can hit many enemies, but only in a certain radius. Now about Plant. From one side, plan looks powerful, because it shoots many projectiles, they bounce, penetrate enemies and walls. But the truth is, projectiles are doing a small damage compared to other elemental skills, and most of them don't hit enemies the second time. Attack up, I rate it as A grade, because these skills will give you higher attack. Yeah, to get that higher attack, you'll need more tails and lower health. But higher increasing attack will help you more. Next skills I graded as B, and the first one is Health Up. Plus 20% health is good, of course, but higher attack is always better. I recommend to choose this skill when your health or low or before fighting with the final boss. Plus 3 bodies is a good skill only in combinations. For example, with more is better skill, it will give you plus 6% attack. As a single skill, it's not very useful. Shield can save you from receiving damage, but unfortunately only once per stage. It's a good skill for some normal stages, nothing more. Circle damage up is a powerful skill, but the truth is, you need a lone body to do a circle damage, 
and against most bosses, ranged enemies, especially with spikes, you won't do the circle damage. This skill is more against melee enemies, which are not hard to kill. To make circle rubber for some stages will be problematic. Plus, you have to get circle turret, unless you won't get circle rubber. It's a good skill, but most skills are doing higher damage and more useful than circle robots. And here we have the worst skills. Cold blood increases attack on 50%, but you will need a full health. I played a lot of times and in any stage, sooner or later I was receiving damage. This effect is very powerful, but it fades away in any chapter or trial. Recovery item is only useful if you need to recover your health, otherwise it's a bad skill to choose. Attack speed up will increase your attack speed on 20%. I don't really understand why you need higher attack speed here. Maybe I'm wrong about this skill, but I didn't find it useful, guys. And the last, probably the worst skill in game, Circle Turret. You have to kill an enemy with a circle damage to make a single turret, and it's not moving. Okay, guys, now you know which skills are better and which of them are worse. If you don't agree with me on something, write in comments and explain why. We will discuss it.